Hello Marshalls and welcome to the Marshall Update. We're your hosts. I'm Grace and this is Kat. Today is February 15th and it's an A-Day. Disco Sadies was last Saturday thanks to those who came. It was groovy. Now for one of our favorite segments, Keeping It Real with Coach Parker. My advice is to the girls' varsity and the boys' varsity basketball team to work hard all week and to obey all the rules, go the extra mile, and who knows, there may be an, uh, a chance that we're going to upset the number one team in state and it's a good chance if you work hard so work hard this week we'll be airing a new segment featuring senior moments with our student body president jake meesey let's check it out this is senior moments with jake meesey this is what i do i interview seniors and i meet people and i love them oh hi senior moments Uh, hello, this is uh, Senior Moments with uh, Jake B.C. This is Brianna Wachter. How are you, Brianna? I'm good. How are you? Oh, I'm doing swell. Thank you for asking. Yeah. Brianna, this is how it's going to work. I'm just going to ask you two simple questions. You're going to answer them. We're going to post it on YouTube or whatever we're going to do, you know? Okay. All right, first question. What, what was your favorite <laughs> school memory? When me and Skyly fought some girls that were terrible at Westridge High School. He, wow. Mm -hmm. You're just like... Ooh. So leads us to our next question. What some senior advice? Um, take as many classes as possible before you get to your senior year. Get it? That's all. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Good. For our question of the week, we're celebrating Black History Month. Let's check in to see what Rockwell students and staff had to say. Why do we celebrate Black History Month? Because it's freaking awesome. No, um, because most um, most curriculum, curriculi, and um, hey, and um, textbooks suck, and they leave out important and, and awesome things about uh, minority history, Native American, African American history. If it wasn't for African Americans, we wouldn't have jazz and tons of music, and and uh, a lot of you chitlins are. Um, are missing out because you don't spend enough time on Frederick Douglass and all these other people that you're missing out on. And so it's a lot of cool stuff. Uh, why do we celebrate celebrate Black History Month? We celebrate um, the heritage of African Americans. Present. As I understand it, um, history is written by who? History is written by the winners, right? And, and the people in charge. And, and especially in America, the people who have been in charge have been white males right so we're getting kind of just one side of the story if that makes sense and there's more to it than what's being presented so one of the reasons that we started celebrating black history month was to help diversify that history in fact there's some really cool classes you social studies classes you guys can take that that get into the diversity of history like women's studies and things like that that uh is offered on the other side of the school uh, but those are geared to help give you a perspective that's not a non-white male point of view on history so i as i understand that's why we do it is that what holt said because if so then then yes that's correct otherwise just delete this whole thing <laughs> now for our teacher of the week mrs stars okay well we are here with Miss stars and Miss stars we have a couple questions for you okay our first question is what do you like about teaching <sighs> well um, I think 
one of the best things I like is helping other people, obviously. Um, I really like putting together the lessons and making them exciting because when I was in high school, it was just here's a book to read and, and you're good to go. So I like to make things hands-on as much as possible, but I also like to challenge everyone. And I really like to see people, you know, exceed my expectations for those challenges. Another one that we all thought about is what is something people might not know about you? Like school appropriate? <laughs> Anything. <laughs> um, I have really bad social anxiety. I didn't know that. So <laughs> uh, what is a hobby that you have? I obviously play a lot of video games, hence all the posters around my classroom. Um, I think my favorite game of all time, though, is The Elder Scrolls um, IV, which is Oblivion. Um, our last question that we want to ask is, what do you like to do on your free time? Free time? Games. Um, I also like to grow things at my house. It kind of looks like I'm growing some illegal substances, but it's just a bunch of vegetables. I like to go camping. I like to just be outside and just, you know, kind of research stuff, too. Cool. Okay. We have another new segment this week with one of our fellow Rockwell Marshals, Isaac Anderson. Enjoy Isaac's dance school. Now it's time to try not to laugh as we recreate some of our favorite vines. I smell like beef. I smell like beef. Look at all those chickens. Hey mailman, what do you got? Just this letter. <laughs> da -ha. Da -ha. Jonathan, I don't love you anymore. I say whoever threw that paper, your mom's a hoe. <laughs> Next we have our sports report. Softball and track start this year on the 25th of February. Now to Kenzie for more details. Hey Kenzie, how are you today? Good, how are you? Good. Is there anything you want your softball players to know? Um, make sure you get on Register My Athlete and get your physicals before tryouts, which are February 25th. There you go. State for basketball is this weekend. Boys play on Saturday and girls play on Friday. Both of the games start at 2. Let's catch up with some marshals who have graduated in our new segment called Where Are They Now? I um, work a lot right now. Um, my family is in Africa. So that's cool. They've been like living in Africa and doing super cool stuff over there. Um, right after graduation, I moved to Massachusetts for a while and loved that. I loved living like so close to the ocean and, um, and I like went to Maine and, um, New Hampshire and all over there and totally loved that. Um, and then I came back and, um, and I started working full time and, um, and I've started taking like a few classes on the side, um, but I wasn't super sure of what I wanted to study necessarily, so I didn't go into it right away. Um, so I've just been taking a few little classes on the side. Um, don't stop yourself from having experiences because of like the people that are around you. Um, like don't, I don't know, just don't like hold back. Like just be yourself 
um, and everyone is like finding out who they are um, and what they're going to do and everything and that's completely fine that's totally fine but like be yourself and be happy with that and if like there are ways to like better yourself then do it and that's awesome good for you um yeah I don't know what else but I love you all I miss you all good luck and have a great day at school bye <laughs> Here's Amy Holt with our Super Bowl reports. Hey Marshalls, just wanted to give you an update on what's going on here. This is my Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday. We are welcoming cast members in at the, what's called the offsite location. You can see a whole bunch of people coming there. Uh, and then we go from here, we go over to the stadium, but we have to gather here. So these are my people I work with. There's Loren. She's directing people. Very hi, busy. Those are the fans. Say hi. hi. Thanks. They're awesome. And then here's Lisa. Very busy. Hello, uh, yeah, she, she's got... <laughs> sure. So just wanted to give you guys an update on what's inside the offsite. Just take a look around. There's Loren. <laughs> this is... Uh, Almost a cast of 1,200. It's crazy. Hey, Marshalls. It's me again. Letting you know that we are now on the way to the stadium. Uh, this is with a police escort. I don't know. Let me try and zoom in here. Can you see them? It's pretty awesome. On a bus full of people. Hey, you guys. Say hi, Marshalls. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, mm -hmm. well, next report, I'll be in the I stadium. Just finished the show. Now we're running out. We have to leave. There's the stadium in the background. Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Dying of heat because the flames, like, well, flames are hot. Thanks, Marshalls, and have a great day.